the Ringers' Kevin O'Connor delved into the topic LeBron James' contract extension and believes a future trade request isn't completely out of the question. He says the godfather of the NBA player empowerment era has done it all in his decorated career except doing what most disgruntled NBA stars do these days which is requesting a trade. So first and foremost before I continue I would like to correct him like I said a lot of current media members and writers they like to rewrite history um, to you know uh, sell this illusion that LeBron James is the greatest basketball player and he invented every single thing but me and Pops we did a video uh, probably a few months back um, where Pops explained to you guys you know he you know he educated you guys on why um, LeBron James wasn't the face of player empowerment and actually it was Spencer Hayward uh, so it goes on to say the discussion of LeBron James ongoing contract extension talks with the Lakers this summer in the context of fellow future Hall of Famer Kevin Durant's demand for a trade from Boston kicked off some thought exercises from experts about whether or not James would be willing to go down that path if things go sideways in LA again. It says the Ringers Kevin O'Connor believes that if Rob Palenka and the Lakers brass don't pull up all the stops cough spin the picks to trade Russell Westbrook <laughs> cough once again. I don't know if this man has to see 19 or what. You know, don't do too much coughing, bro. Okay. But he says to make the team a contender, LeBron, who clearly enjoys the LA lifestyle, should ask for a trade. He says, quote, if the Lakers don't do everything they can to build a title contender around LeBron James, or if they try to do so and fail, he should leave for basketball reasons, family, basketball, and the joy that comes from living in Los Angeles might outweigh the desire to bolster his legacy in a new city. But there are still chapters to be written that involve him winning on the court. So if you guys would like to read the full article, the link is in the description box. So a few things I would like to touch on. Um, he says that lebron james like living in los angeles so for those of you who have been watching my channel understand that i've lived in los angeles before so you know just speaking with people who still live out la and you know understanding how uh inflation and how the taxes and you know how the cost of living has gone up you know has went up drastically you will understand that living in los angeles is not like it was so you don't get that la vibe in the la field no more and lebron james being tight on the dollar like me you know me and lebron we do kind of got a lot of things in common because i'm very tight on the dollar i'm very cheap so living in la he, uh, he understand that it's not like it was like it's you know lebron james is a person who likes to save money so la is not the city that it once was you know as much as i love la so i 14 thousand percent disagree that lebron james should not request a trade from the los angeles lakers why because for one very selfish reason, I would love for Genie Bus to do the honors of being the very first organization to trade LeBron James. Why? Because they constantly love to remind us of how LeBron James has broken every record in basketball history, bruh. Okay, saying things like, LeBron James, he's the first player to score five plus points on eight straight Mondays, okay? He's the first player at 36 years old to look 55 years old, but explosive and can still jump out the gym like he's 22, okay? He's the first player to open a school. He's the first player to look in the mirror and a goat actually comes through the mirror, okay? So nothing will satisfy me more than to see the Lakers trade LeBron James. So no, LeBron James should not request a trade. And am I forgetting something? Hey man, what is going on in my mind? What is happening here? So they say that the Lakers should go all out for a 38 year old man. But truthfully, I don't think LeBron James wants to be traded because one, it would be viewed as a strike against his legacy in the GOAT debate because his detractors i.e. Skip Bayless and myself, we'll just say Michael Jordan was never traded. Kobe Bryant was never traded other than when he was drafted, of course, right? But LeBron James understand that that will be used against him. He understands that. 
And LeBron James is also known for controlling his destiny, being the boss. But if Jeannie Buss were to do this, <laughs> bro, she would of course receive pushback. However, diehard Laker fans like myself would relish. We'll be smiling on the inside. This would be like winning our 18th championship. As a matter of fact, it would be <laughs> winning our 18th title. But I think LeBron James is giving the Lakers clear indication and warning signs that he does not want to return with the Lakers because otherwise LeBron James would have signed the extension these past couple of weeks. I think LeBron James already has his mind made up that he wants to leave. No different than, you know, no difference than the first Cleveland stint and then when he left Miami. Right. So I think he has every intentions on leaving in 2023, no matter who the Lakers trade for. But honestly, I think Jeannie Buss will make a chess move and trade LeBron James after he breaks Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record, which will sell tickets. Of course, LeBron James wants to play with his sons. And I hear a lot of people say, oh, well, LeBron James has two or three years left. But we've been saying this for the past five or six years now. So this man ain't leaving unless Savannah gets out the bed. Pulls up the crypto arena and carry LeBron James on their back and force this man to retire. Okay, so I think LeBron James wants to retire in Cleveland. That's where he's from. You know, he's loved there. He's adored there. And Los Angeles will always be a Kobe Bryant city. Point blank. Period. LeBron James doesn't want to play with Westbrook, you know, even though he wanted him. But in his mind, it's the front office fault. But LeBron and LeBron sexuals are so delusional mentally. They're like females, right? You know, accountability to women <laughs> is like putting a cross in front of a vampire. No, no, I'm dying. No, heavens, no. Okay. They don't like accountability. Okay, in their mind, LeBron James has never made a mistake. LeBron in his life, he, <laughs> he never even run a stop sign. But what better story would it be than to play with your sons at home where you were born. Your son gets drafted to the same team that you were drafted to, playing alongside each other. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And Dan Gilbert, he doesn't care because he's going to rake in money. Dan Gilbert has dealt with LeBron James shenanigans. He knows what he has to endure, the pain. But the Lakers will take picks for LeBron James and some young players. They could flip 80 next season. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe.